you've got to put sunscreen on. If you want to see us return to the uh, more uh, eased restrictions that I know you're looking forward to and that I'm looking forward to, that it is important that you download the COVID Safe app. That is your ticket. That is Australia's ticket to a COVID Safe uh, Australia where we can go about the things that we love doing once again. Ladies and gentlemen, this Prime Minister Scott is a very smart. Before he sent me a message, he said, I want you to join me to this sickness. And I had started to ask myself, every, every, every day talking, is a no lesson, how are you going to join him about this sickness? I was thinking this, and I'm going to hear, and he put data. And when he put data, I start to remember, I was a lesson channel ABC interview, and one man he talked to, to them to someone who prime minister. Minister, I don't really know if he was the minister, if he was there, I don't remember. He said to force that to force the social media, they have to be quiet. Them they need the data only. They need the data only. And when they talk data. I start thinking they are going to contact people they, they give, they, we, we charge data. I be quiet. Now, when I going to look, when I, I, I see, oh, you are the one to me to join this data, no talking about this data. I start to remember, you send me a message, you are the one to me to join this data. And when I finished to join him, to be quiet, and it, this data to start to torture me, to start to torture me, me to put in my to my phone in my self, to put in my to my phone in my self, this data, why join him? How I can join the people? He called me to join him. I never talk with her. He said, I don't want to talk with me. One day to news, they say, you want to talk with this man? He said, no, I don't want to talk with him. He's thinking me, I was a super D. I'm a super D. To, jo to, jo to join the people that don't want to talk with me. And I'm going to remember another day, another politician is a go in the TV. They say China, China, when you use, you use talk talk, China is going to know where you, you are, you are true in the way they were. I saw Nazemu, they put this to know everybody where you, you are. Like a China, China before they were talking. Now this data, don't put, don't think I'm going for sickness. Prime Minister is a very smart. Prime Minister, when he wants to test, to test people you meet them with the data, data to show them with the sickness and to going to test you. No. Prime Minister is a very smart. Why is there no call all of society to test them? Society they don't have sickness to be outside. So that they have a sickness to be inside the house. No, this data not to protect you. To protect him is I don't want to give independent and freedom. You hear why when we were talking now? He say when you have the stress, first he loving. First when you're going to start to talk, he loving. He said, when you want, you have the stress, he give you phone number. When you have, you want, you hang, you want to hang on the suicide, he give you phone number. Every problem, he give you phone number. Meaning, don't ask him again another, 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 another time. Don't ask him. He finish. 
he finished. Now this data, they are going to cause more society problem, distress. Society, they are going, they are going to eat, heat, to eat social media. You see, he told you, when you have distress, Nahim, he know. They are going to get more distress. He know. This gentle, he have training. Our training is I don't want to protect society to be happy. And is I don't want to protect society to give them rights, freedom, independence. Him, he wants to control her society like a slave. Now this data, they finish, to they're going to control you like a slave. Ask yourself, why is another, another, another politician they don't want this data? Ask yourself, are you going to touch link to this video? Ask yourself, <coughs> why this data is not give them power about this data? Why the police them they looking at people to see people they, they have this sickness if they mix with the people? No, he they not give them. He know he they not trust them. Why in them he know they have this problem all of society. Distress, family violence, hang on yourself, suicide, all of the nungu the Every society they have. This data for party only. No opposition he join this, he don't know. No opposition he join, he don't know what he join. They're going to control him. Now voting, they're going to control him. This data, now if you shut, now if you do anything, you are not going to move this data to your phone. Is that you are not going to move this data to your phone. And to me, he is going to force another people to put to her phone they don't know they have this. He will put, he will put, and he is not show you to your phone when you have this. Ask yourself why they not test all of people's society they have sickness. So long this is they have sickness, government to control all of them. To long this is they don't have sickness to be fully, to move house, to go to job, to work, to go to business, to give them a paper. When you walk on the street, put here, put here this card, wearing this card, people to know you are normal. No. Him, this he put to stop society talking and to stop social media to publish. The, the idea is pretty simple, and that is to get the virus under control. And I think by all, any measure, Australia compared to other nations have done, has done extraordinarily well on that front. But then you have to put in place, as we're doing right now, the protections for a COVID safe Australia. And those protections are the key to that economic unlocking into the future. Because otherwise, you simply, as I think the New South Wales Premier was suggesting this morning, and I've, as I've warned against as well, you get into this stop-go approach going forward, and you don't want that. What you want is a confident um, moving forward and continuing to make gains and then continuing to ease restrictions and continuing to be in a position where your economic activity is lifted. Now, that doesn't mean there won't be setbacks and it doesn't mean there won't be outbreaks and it doesn't mean there won't be extra cases. I suspect there will. The question is more about what you can do about those outbreaks. Now, if you go back over a month... If there are correlations between job keeper and job seeker, that is unemployment... Uh, circumstances, that whether that data might be helpful in you identifying uh, pressure points geographically or in the community? 
Thank you. If I could just perhaps clarify, when I talk about hotspots, that's not necessarily hotspots for mental health issues. It's hotspots for presentation of the illness and what that may mean, particularly if you need to go into more restrictive um, lockdown-type scenarios. That said, um, I don't think it is an easy thing to do any correlation between particular stresses, and we do certainly acknowledge the significance of the economic and employment stresses, and help seeking for mental health. Uh, particularly at a time when we are opening it up to telehealth and when we're opening it up to digital and online. Um, we can certainly look at engagement rates, we can certainly look at those who are reaching out, um, and we can try and pick spots for presentation of the illness and what that may mean, particularly if you need to go into more restrictive um, lockdown-type scenarios. That said, um, I don't think it is an easy thing to do any correlation between particular stresses, and we do certainly acknowledge the significance of the economic and employment stresses, and help seeking for mental health. Uh, particularly at a time when we are opening it up to telehealth and when we're opening it up to digital and online. Um, we can certainly look at engagement rates, we can certainly look at those who are reaching out, um, and we can try and pick up some trend data. Um, as I said to the Prime Minister this morning, one of the challenges, of course, with mental health data is that it is not as quantitative or as finite as what has been able to be used in terms of tracking physical reactions to COVID-19. So we're very much looking at trend lines. We're looking at keeping all of our senses open to understand the reality of what's happening. The first one, um, do you realistically, uh, in terms of getting the budget back on track and on the road out, do you realistically expect to be able to uh, take the job, seek your payment back to its original level, you said you're only remote 800,000 people have signed up, or would you be prepared to taper it or revert it to a higher than original level? And just the second question, we're anticipating as early as tomorrow the resignation of Mike Kelly. Mm -hmm. um, what relevance would you ascribe in terms of uh, a test or whatever the outcome of the subsequent by-election in the current, current circumstances? Well, let me do the first question. Um, job seeker uh, supplement, COVID supplement, which is begun this week, uh, and the job keeper arrangements were temporary measures that were put in place for the COVID period, which was set uh, till the end of September. Uh, our objective is to get those on job seeker and job keeper back into their jobs. That's what our objective is. That's what we're focused on. That's what our road ahead is about, is to get those Australians off those uh, income supports and back into employment. And to do that, it means, as I started this press conference by saying, success looks like that. It looks like people getting back into their jobs, businesses reopening, um, Australians being able to move back into a COVID safe world um, where protections are in place and it maximises uh, the amount of activity that they can undertake. Now, when you're in that situation, then obviously the income supports that have been put in place to get people through that period um, will, won't be necessary on the other side. We made that clear at the outset. This was emergency response measures. Um, this was not a, uh, a change in the government's view about um, the broader role of the social safety net in Australia. I think we have a very strong social safety net, but in this particular point of time, and as the Treasury Secretary pointed out yesterday, when you're looking at unemployment um, going above 10%, as and I've said to you on a number of occasions, I fear uh, uh, were statistics coming forward and on the economy in the months ahead, and we need to prepare ourselves for that. That's why Job Seeker and Job Keeper were put in place to deal with the, the, the heavy blow that uh, the COVID-19 uh, pandemic is going to have on the Australian economy. But that's why we also need to move as quickly as we can, uh, getting these protections in place to ensure that our economy can grow. Now, the budget will be restored by our economy growing. And that's why as we move towards the budget uh, scheduled for October this year, um, then we'll be in a position to outline a, a range of measures that will uh, support that growth into the future, which will support the budget. That's important because the budget supports essential services. It's all about jobs, it's all about services uh, going forward and ensuring that we can do that in a, re in a responsible and sustainable way with the budget. And uh, these emergency measures come at a great cost and clearly that level of, of cost is, is not a sustainable level uh, beyond what we've flagged. Uh, in relation to uh, uh, Dr Kelly, 
I, I wish him well if he indeed intends to make that announcement soon. Uh, he's served his country in uniform, he's served his country in the parliament, and uh, if that indeed is the decision he makes, I, I wish him all the best and I thank him for his service in, in, in both of those respects. Uh, the Liberal Party will certainly contest the seat, as I'm sure the National Party will certainly contest, contest the seat, um, but uh, that doesn't change the history, um, which would mean that it would be a one in a hundred year event um, for a government in those circumstances uh, if, uh, the, if they were to take a seat from the opposition. That would be a rather extraordinary outcome, but it's one we will put our best foot forward for uh, in this environment. But uh, my expectations, um, well, I think you can say are, are conditioned by history, and, uh, and I think that would be the uh, reasonable assessment. But that said, I mean, the government um, has a plan. We're showing, I think, the leadership through this crisis that Australians are seeking uh, from the government. And importantly, it, we are focused on what success looks like for our country. And it's not just beating the virus. It's about ensuring that we can get Australia back to where we were and to make us even stronger beyond that. And uh, that's what our government will always stand for and the policies that support that. Now, just as we leave, I just want to give a reminder um, on the Lifeline life number, Lifeline Australia, 13 11 14. Kids Helpline is 1 800 55 1800. Uh, Beyond Blue is 1300 224 636. Uh, the Suicide Callback Service is 1300 659 467. Uh, Men's Line Australia doing a great job, 1300 uh, 78 99 78. So that's 1300 78 99 78. And Headspace, you can access them at www.headspace.org.au. Um, and as always, call your GP. Telehealth is available to you uh, through your GP. And don't forget the COVID helpline, 1800 020 080. And don't forget, download the app. Download the app. Put your sunscreen on equivalent. Download that app, and the sooner we can get Australia back to where we want it to be.